Tywin's a great character. People talking about, about him as being, you know, the, the villain. I'm not sure that he is. Tywin's one of those characters that you, you, you love to hate, love to be intimidated by. This is the part which is just absolutely Charles Dance, down to the very essence, his core. When Tywin was skinning a stag, do you remember that? Charlie Dance had top turn, and just the, the coldness of that, and the, the precision with the, the way he continued doing one thing, while delivering this, you know, astonishingly brutal lecture in, in power politics to his son. That was fantastic. As a character study, to watch that as an actor, it's a, it's a masterclass. With like all of the lights and the crew and everyone shooting that scene for a long time, that was like, yeah, pretty impressive. I mean, you've got to be very dedicated to your job. Tywin's an awesome character, you know, and there's no one in the world who can play him better than Charles Dance. Uh, I loved the, bit, the metaphor when he was butchering the deer in season one. You know, obviously the, the house sign of Baratheon is a deer. When he rides in on, on horseback in uh, Blackwater, very heroic. The horse shitting on the floor. Yeah, that is great. Talking about shit, it was a great scene where Tywin comes into the throne room on a horse. Who else could do that but him? And of course his horse <laughs> shits on the floor of the, of the throne room before he comes in. Could anyone else get away with it? No, that was, uh, <laughs> that was great. I mean, it's wonderful, isn't it? You know, um, that was a terrific scene to shoot because you know I'm an actor and we love showing off and to actually ride into a room full of people on the back of a horse is quite something. The talk he has in season two I believe with, with Tyrion as well where he basically is nothing to him, he doesn't mean anything to him, you know it's, it's, it's also very sad but it's also incredible, it's, it's incredible acting. The problem <coughs> um, with Tywin and Tyrion is that he's not perfect you know and um, if he'd had his way, he would have just let him float out to sea when he was born. Now having this scene and, and, and he's telling him that, I wish that you had never been born. You know, you, you're, the only reason you're alive is because you share my name and that's about it. It was one of the most horrific things I've ever seen on screen. That father-son and um, some of the best acting I think I've seen, period, anywhere. Tyron, of course, is very clever. But it was interesting to see him being outfoxed by a child in a way, because Aya was right under his nose all the time. Now, what do you make of that? There were times when, you know, she was kind of, she was wrong-footing Tywin, but I think she commanded his respect because of that. How fun was it tricking Tywin? Yeah, I think it was great. I really loved the scenes when I first read them. Tywin just thinks she's a nobody, and, you know, there's something a little bit different about her, but I don't think he really suspects. Um, that she's Rob Stark's younger sister. It reminds me of like a, a headmaster you really hate, but somehow respect at the same time, yeah. that sort of thing. I think I might have had a, a Tywin figure in my life at some stage. I think anything with Charles Dance is amazing. I just think he, he can make, he only had to think, just make like walking to the park look like, you know, Wolf on Wall Street. Tywin is just doing what he has to do. It's a feudal society that he lives in, and he has to retain his position. And um, he can only do that from being strong and ruthless, I'm afraid. For my money, he has no redeeming qualities. He's, he's just an awful man. He's treated his children appallingly. The father has a lot to answer for. My favorite moments with Game of Thrones? Oh, heavens above. Um, probably my death scene that I didn't know about until somebody in the street um, who'd been reading all the books, you know, said, you've got great death scene. I said, oh, have I? What is the manner of my death? And he told me, it's quite spectacular. <laughs>